Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and welcome to another online quiz. Now today, we're going to be finding out what my spirit animal is, and of course I'm going to have links to the tests that I took in the description of this video so you can find out for yourself. Now you can tell I have the browser open by the white glowing intensity of my angelic face. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> So, today we are going to be finding out what my spirit animal is, and I'm a little curious, so I would imagine you would be too. We've got a BuzzFeed quiz. Now, I took a BuzzFeed quiz last time, and I didn't think it was bad. We've got uh, a, a, a website that seems to be dedicated specifically to this question, so I figured they're bound to have a pretty good, uh, pretty good quiz. And then, depending on how long those takes, we also have a brain fall quiz asking what your spirit animal is. So we're just going to jump into it and see how far we get. I'm betting fox. I'm betting fox, but we're going to we're going to find out. We're going to find out. So let's let's start with the BuzzFeed. What is your star sign? My star sign is Sagittarius. Which would you rather eat? A salad, fried chicken, salmon, sushi, dark chocolate cake or steak? Ooh. Those are some good choices. Uh, I think sushi, probably. I love me some sushi. Which statement best describes you? I am brave and fight for what I believe in. I am loyal to those I love and crave freedom. I pay close attention to detail and think outside the box. I believe in a healthy balance between work and play, and I feel that life is too short to not have fun. I am very cautious and can be shy, but I am very creative and tend to have good luck. And that kind of describes me. I am cunning and have a strong energy. I don't get along with everyone, but those I do will trust me. I think this one kind of caught my attention. I'm very cautious and can be shy, but I'm very creative and tend to have good luck. Pick a color. Pick a color. We got red, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. No purple. No purple. Uh, well, I guess red? Red or black? Red or black? Red or black? That's tough. That's tough. What do I prefer? I say I like, I think I like red and black equally, so we're just gonna go with red because I don't know if black really counts as a color. Uh, pick a place. Ooh, we've got what looks like the Serengeti, the snowy carnivorous forest, a river with a mountain, sunny beach, rolling hills, or the deserts of Arizona. I love snow. I love snow, so I'm gonna go with that. How do you feel about love? I believe in love, but not monogamy. You only get one true love in your life, so once you find them, never let them go. I would like to get married and have a family someday, but I don't necessarily believe in love. I want to experience lots of different people and have fun and try new things. I've dated around a bit, but I'm still looking for love. I have been in love before, but I don't know if I can deal with the downsides again. Ooh, that one kind of rings up, rings a bell for me. But I think I want to experience lots of different people and have fun and try new things. That sounds like me. Ooh, which Hogwarts house are you in? I am a Slytherin. We discovered that in the last online quiz we took. I don't like Harry Potter. How dare they have that as option? As an option. What are you afraid of? Uh, my enemies? Failure? Being alone? Not having the answers? Missing out? The unknown? Uh, failure? I think? Oh! I'm a lion. Well, that doesn't make sense. Lion, lions are the signs of the Gryffindors, and I'm clearly not a Gryffindor as a Slytherin. Um, but okay. Okay. Chalk one up for lion. Uh, right, let's try the Spirit Animal website. What's your favorite natural element? Fire! Fire all the way. Continue. Uh, I feel at peace with myself most of the time. Very accurate, fairly accurate, somewhat inaccurate, very inaccurate. Um, I do not always feel at peace in myself. There is a constant battle raging up here uh, about literally everything, uh, so I'm gonna go with somewhat inaccurate. I tend to be more down to earth than head in the clouds. Mm, I'm gonna say that's somewhat inaccurate. I'm, I'm a bit of a head in the clouds type of guy. I, I have my, my down to earth factors, but for the most part, yeah. Got my head up in those clouds. Uh, I find it easy to approach others. Very accurate, fairly accurate, somewhat inaccurate, 
or very inaccurate. I'm gonna go with very inaccurate. I am very shy, despite what it might seem like in my videos. I frequently, I frequently do things without a specific schedule or plan. Um, I'm gonna say that's fairly inaccurate. I tend to think things through a lot and uh, have a plan. I'm always planning ahead, even if I don't act on it perfectly. The typical ordinary way feels like a betrayal of myself. I'm gonna say that's very accurate. I frequently come up with ideas or solutions out of nowhere. Huh? That's, that's fairly accurate. I don't always come up with solutions, but I'd say more often than not I do. The most, the more useful I am to others, the happier I am. I'd say that's fairly accurate. I, I like to uh, do right by the people I love, the people around me. I spend a lot of time observing before I act. I'd say that's also fairly accurate. I, I like to think things through, you know? I like to make an educated action. I like to be impressive to others. Oh yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I'd say fairly accurate. I, it's not something that I always care about, but it is something that I care about, I can't lie. I'm always looking for new things to experience. I'd say that's fairly accurate. Fairly accurate. Picking fairly accurate a lot. I lived a fast-paced existence. Yes. Yeah, depending on how you look at it, I guess I do. But in... I mean, it's like I, I kind of follow the same routine week after week. But I'm always hustling, so, you know... I'd say hustling, even if you're you're doing the same hustle week after week. That's still fast. I uh, How would you rather spend your free time? I'd rather go outdoors and walk or hike in a park nearby. Uh, building something or engaging in a creative activity like arts and crafts. Probably that. Playing video games or watching movie at home. Getting together with my friends and having fun going out. Reading my favorite book or website in my bedroom or couch. Uh, I'm always working on projects, typically, on this channel. So, yeah. That's, that, that's about all of my free time. That's where it goes. Uh, I require lots of time alone to recharge. Very accurate. I seek out the secret of the universe. I tried doing that with drugs for a number of years, and as it turns out, I don't think humans are meant to know the secrets of the universe, and no amount of drugs is going to teach it to you. So, I'm going to say... Having sought them heavily, that's very accurate, but I'm not trying anymore. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened? Where are my results? Yes, I want to receive a free bonus spirit animal guide and animal news by email. No, ignore and see my results, please. Oh, I'm a wolf. Wolf gore's a wolf. What a shock. Uh, what it means to be the wolf. The power of the wolf brings forth instinct, intelligence, appetite for freedom, and awareness of the importance of social connections. When the wolf shows up in your life, pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. Right, chalk one up for wolf. Okay, weird audio clipping problems seem to be fixed. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, your neighbor says they will give you $100 to house sit while they are on vacation. When they return, they only have $75 and explain they've spent more than expected while away. You stand up for yourself. I am understanding. Accept what I'm given, but won't do it again. Try to discuss a payment plan. Um, I tend to be pretty non-confrontational in situations like that. I'd certainly be annoyed, so I would probably just take the 75 and be like, wow, fuck these guys, not do it again. That sounds like me. Uh, what's your, your favorite thing to watch on TV is sports, eh, news and documentaries, eh, cooking and gardening, eh, reality TV. Eh. That's all the options you offer, really? Really? Man, I don't watch any of this shit on TV. I watch, I watch TV shows on TV, like House of Cards and... What? Ugh. Weak. Weak! Uh, okay, I guess I'll go with... But I don't watch news and documents. I guess I watch the Philip DeFranco show. 
So I'm going to count that as watching news. Continue. Click to continue the quick. What is happening? Okay. I'm not, I wouldn't recommend the brainfall one so far. What's your spirit animal? How do you like to dance? Some t I don't dance. I, I don't dance. You don't have an option of I don't dance. Like, I think a significant portion of the population just opts to not dance in dancing situations. Uh, bumping and grinding? Free-flowing? I wouldn't call what I do free-flowing, but I guess I'm gonna select that. During an overwhelming day at work, what do you do during your lunch break to relax? Um, eat with friends or coworkers. Okay. You turn on the TV and see that UFOs have been spotted in your city. How do you react? Change the channel. Prepare for alien invasion. Research and learn about the possibilities of extraterrestrial life. Breathe. Everything is going to be okay. Probably, probably breathe. Everything's going to be okay. After winning the lottery, what's the first thing you buy? A vacation, a new fast car, presents for loved ones? Uh, nothing I'd invest. Probably a vacation. I could use a vacation. It's been years since I've had a vacation. But I get one in September. Oh, I'm going to the coast for a week and it's gonna be so nice. Who do you turn to most when you have a problem? Myself, God, the internet or reading material, my family, uh, probably the internet if I'm... Myself, the internet, I don't turn to my family. Maybe, maybe God in, in, in a certain sense, but I, I think the internet probably would be the most accurate. Let's see, what's your spirit animal, a cat? <laughs> I'm not a cat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm many things, but I'm not a cat. A cat is independent and curious. You may find that you are, fuck off. You may find that you are often drawn to darkness, wanting to uncover what hides within the unknown. You have vast life experiences that make you adventurous and emotionally deep. I'm not a cat. All right, all right. Uh, personally, I think I liked the BuzzFeed one was pretty good. This one was pretty good. The Brainfall one was kind of shit. Well, fam, we seem to be a sort of wolf, lion, cat, chimeric sort of creature. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but hey, I had fun taking the quizzes, and I got wolf for one of them, so I'm pretty happy with that, and lions are cool too, so, you know, pretty happy about that. Again, I have the quizzes that I took linked in the description down below, so if you'd like to take them for yourself, please do that, and tell me what you got down in those comments below. And, uh, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I love your faces, and I will see you all next time with more quizzes. You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, make sure you like the video to support the channel. Make sure you leave comments supporting the content creator and uh, telling, telling me how hot I am. Yeah, I know. Ugh, God damn, I'm disgustingly hot. Oh, yeah. And uh, did I forget anything? Oh, and uh, be sure to share on social media. We really like that over here at the uh, Wolf Door LLC. Thank you, fam. See you next time. Bye-bye.